Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is a little bit different. I'm not sure whether I should be using the webcam or just get in the way. So I decided just to do a well commentary over it. So I am actually, you know, here on the PlayStation just uh, recording this live as we go. So I'm going to be going over my games and uh, talking about them and stuff. So here we go. So any EA game that you guys see here, I'm not allowed to play it. And what I mean about that is that, long story short, EA has like this EA Play account thing or whatever. It says my credentials are expired or error or whatever. It's so freaking annoying. It's frustrating. If people already have a PSN account, an Xbox gamer tag, or a Steam account or whatever, we should be allowed to play the game regardless. It doesn't have to be connected to the EA servers or whatever the fuck it is. It's just so annoying. It's frustrating. And, uh, gosh, dude, it's just so annoying. Let's just move on. Astro's Playroom. I go back and play this every once in a while when I'm bored. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, it's like one of those demo games that ship with the console. It's actually a really fun game. You get to like go through like the history of the console and stuff and just a brief history of PlayStation so it's free. Call of Duty, love it or hate it, I'm never going to uninstall this game and the reason why because there's no way in hell I will be installing this again if I were to uninstall it by accident. This is like 269 gigs worth of storage I believe, let's check. Last time I checked, it was that. Yep, yeah, wow. Exactly on a dot. 269. Same thing with this. Oh, wrong button. Information. Look at that. 295 gigs, dude. Oh my goodness. And then same with Vanguard. So, from time to time, I'll go back and play those games, but that's why I just have them installed. Moving on. We got Demon's Souls. Um, I have played this game before back in the day on the PlayStation 3. Now, I never had a PlayStation 3. My cousin owned a PlayStation 3. And uh, this is where everything began, I guess. Uh, I do like these games from time to time. Do I like playing these games solo? Like not making videos on them or anything like that. Uh, I just like to enjoy them myself. And uh, well, like I said, just play them solo. I've still not played the this remake. I think it's a remake or a remastered. Is it? No, I think it's a remaster. I'm, I'm not really sure anymore. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm so confused. Anyway, moving on. We got Destiny 2, Fall Guys, Fortnite. We all know what that is. God of War Ragnarok. Now, you guys already know, man. I'm not a fan of the recent God of War games. I know, that's crazy. That is freaking crazy i'm more of a fan of the original trilogy and the original games from back on the playstation 2 and the playstation 3 those games the 2018 god of war and this one right here i just find them so boring i'm sorry if you're a god of war fan hey go ahead and roast me in the comments i don't really care but i'm sorry man i'm tired of like carrying this kid around and babysitting this kid like dude it's just so boring it is so freaking boring now if you guys want me to play this game again for the second time in my life like actually from beginning to middle to end like the whole thing not platinum it but actually play it through let me know and i'll do it i'll start with god of war 2018 and we'll just go from there uh so that's why i haven't installed and also it's because a uh, it's a freaking PlayStation exclusive, so that's why I haven't installed. Anyways, moving on, we got Grand Theft Auto V, that's obvious. Hogwarts Legacy. Another thing. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to start it. Whoops. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what can I say about this game? Uh, I've never played a Harry Potter game. 
or anything like that, or I've never even watched a film before. I know it's crazy. The only time I've ever watched a Harry Potter film is like at my local Walmart, like in the McDonald's. They'd be like playing Shrek and freaking Harry Potter like 24 seven. You guys remember that? I'm not sure I'm like, like the only one has ever experienced that, but they'd be playing this on the TV and you'll be eating and stuff. Probably playing with your Happy Meal or something. I don't know, but that's the only time I've ever seen Harry Potter or any clips of like that nature. So I'm not really familiar with like the whole world and all that stuff. So I would love to get deep into like the world of Harry Potter and stuff. So I will be playing this as well as a first time impressions, I guess, video. I uh, just haven't gotten around to it. So eventually, definitely for sure sooner rather than later lego star wars uh you guys already know what that is marvel spider-man one and two let's put these together for a minute now i've already played marvel spider-man 2 i believe i already got 100 percent on it and i did not make a full playthrough but i do want to replay this game again for a youtube video i guess and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I do want to platinum this game though. Eventually. There it is. One more. Once more with feeling. Finish the main story and new game plus mode. So I do want to get that. And also go back and get everything else. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, only Marvel Spider-Man is like the only games I'd love to platinum. Nothing else. Don't care about anything else. Don't care about God of War. Don't care about Gran Turismo. Whatever. These two games are like the only ones I'd love to platinum one day eventually. This one was actually really close. I only got like a couple more. Um, I think remastered trophies. I got one more. Yeah, there we go. Achieve a combo of 100. New game plus. And we have to play it on ultimate. So that's going to be a pain in the dick. It's going to be a lot of fun. And here, I think we only got one or two. We got this one right here. The suit for all seasons. So purchase all suits. And what else do we got? And this one right here that's hidden. I'm not sure what this is. So yeah, I only got those couple and uh, we'll be good to go. Eventually one day for sure. Marvel, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Another one I'd want to, yeah, another one I'd want to play. Uh, the reason why I'd want to play this one is because I did already play it before back in 2020 when the game released on the PlayStation 4. So I want to go back and re-experience it and uh, I don't know, just make more content out of it. Any of these Spider-Man games are just really fun to me. So yeah, can't wait. Mortal Kombat, you already know what that is. Multiverses, recently released, or re-released, I should say. Overwatch, I just have it there just in case. Ratchet and Clank, uh, really popular series. I'm personally not really familiar with it. I started it the other day. I'm not far. Only got like yeah, 30 minutes of gameplay on there, 22 minutes. So... Uh, I'm recently, I'm actually really new to this franchise, but I do remember seeing people play it and uh, doing all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so far, I'm not really feeling it, I'm being honest, but I'll play it for a little bit longer. Returnal, I've heard this is like one of the most difficult PlayStation games of all time. Uh, I will be playing it as well for a video, not sure when, but eventually. X Defiant, I'll be honest with you guys, man. <sighs> How do I say this? If you played a first person shooter before, you played it before, it's uh, it's the same thing, dude. There's no streaks though, but I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling it. I don't really care. I'm just, uh, I'm just happy I like playing any type of game, really. Because first-person shooters, man, if you're like a first-person shooter channel, like Call of Duty channel, or anything like that, man, I honestly feel bad for you. 
I don't know why, but I, just, I really do, because you're stuck to, like, one genre. That gets so old so fast. Like, I remember back in high school, intermediate school, or middle school, I'd get home from school and play the crap out of Call of Duty, Mono for 3, Mono for 2, Black Ops 1. Fuck Black Ops 2. I'd be playing all those games, dude, constantly, man, till night. I'd still have, like, my school clothes on, but I just can't do it anymore, man. You get... You get so freaking bored i was just playing the same game over and over again i'm not sure you guys do it man i just can't do it anymore that's why i like to play many different types of games man because i just can't deal with i'm getting worked up on it let's just move on all right but that's how i feel about it rainbow six you guys already seen me play this game before on the channel i re-downloaded it there it is any tycoon game i love playing these tycoon games from time to time like when there's like something on TV or whatever, just have something to do. Or like those city simulator games or whatever. I like playing any of those, any of those games. So that's why I have that installed right here. I also have another one called Planet Coaster. That one's actually, that one's actually really good as well. Real company, I'm a legend at that game. Bioshock. So we're reaching the USB storage. So here we got a bunch of PlayStation 4 games. Here we go. Bioshock, we have Bioshock 1 and 2 and Infinite. I played Infinite before. I never really played 1 and 2. I would like to make a series on that. If you guys want to see a full-on series on Bioshock, let me know. I'll be down to do that. Black Ops 4, the last actual Call of Duty game I had, Soul. It was a lot of fun. 2018 was an amazing year. Let's move on. 2015 was an amazing year. You guys also remember FaZe Clan back in 2015? That was so much freaking awesomeness, man. Remember when FaZe Rain bought every person in the household Black Ops 3? You guys remember that video? Fun times. Infinite Warfare. When it comes to the multiplayer, it's sweaty. But if you guys have never played the campaign on this, I would 110% would recommend you guys try it out. Now, obviously, it's not going to be like a Grammy Award winning epic storytelling or anything like that. It's a military shooter at the end of the day, but the characters and the chemistry make you feel like you care about them in a way. So I'd, I would honestly recommend you guys play that. That's dog shit. Uh, let's see. Mono for 2, the campaign remastered. I already played this before on the channel. It is what it is. Same thing with this one. I already played that. World War 2, I've already played that. Crisis remastered. Uh... Really can't say much of this. I remember playing it back on the 360 days, but I don't really remember much, so that's why I re-downloaded this. I'll give it a shot. Dead Island, same thing, I just re-downloaded that. Doom as well. I'm actually a really big fan of the Doom series, even though you guys don't really see me playing that much, but these like older games, like Doom 64, I remember playing the crap out of that back in the day. So I re-downloaded it for the PS4. These are all part of the PlayStation Premium subscription or whatever. That's why you guys see that logo there. So I, was, I was able to download those. Moving on. So we got Grand Theft Auto 3, San Andreas, and Vice City. I already have a full-on playthrough on these. And uh, you guys can go watch them. I will be recording more of them. Actually, uh, eventually. The, the <laughs> those won't be coming out till next year in March. But I am going to start recording more of these... Uh, real soon infamous second son uh, i've heard many good things about this franchise i personally have never played it before i've seen gameplay but it kind of reminds me of sunset overdrive in a way so i'm excited to jump into see what that is about legos lego marvel's avengers uh I just, yeah i was curious to see what that's about minecraft you all know what that is skipping over that red dead this is the biggest, 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 biggest one I want to go back to and play and make a series on it on my channel. Uh, I have played this game before. About five years ago, I did play the campaign or the story. Damn, it's already been five years. No way. 2019. I, I never got the game when it released. I bought it a couple months later. So I wanted to see what the hype was about, about Red Dead. So I was like, whatever, fine, I'll try it out. And I enjoyed it. So, um, if you guys want to see a full-on series on Red Dead Redemption 2, 
I'm talking about like a two hour long video of me just playing the game, going through the story and all that stuff, please let me know. I want to replay this game. That's why I bought the game again on the PlayStation 4. That way I can go back and have a reason to go back to it. I am ready, folks. Let me know, please. Rocket League, uh, we all know what that is. Sonic Forces, we all know what that is. I already played it before. Terrible game, but it's part of my subscription, so might as well play it, right? Get some trophies out of it. Splitgate, we all know what that is. Trials Fusion, we all know what that is. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, uh, we all know what that is. The Lego Movie 2, I downloaded this just for myself. I might make a video on it and catch my reactions or whatever on it. Another series, guys. Another series. If you guys want me to go back, I played The Last of Us on a PlayStation 3 back in the day. What an amazing fucking game. Amazing game. Incredible. If you guys want me to go back and play The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2 and make a series on it, let me know. I know these games are like many years old now at this point, but I am ready. My body is ready. Same thing with Uncharted, folks. I've never played a Uncharted game before in my life. The closest thing would probably be Tomb Raider. And uh, personally, like when I look at Uncharted and when I look at Tomb Raider, I feel like Tomb Raider is for the guys and Uncharted is for the girls. That's how I kind of look at it. Because I'd rather be looking at a woman than a guy. I don't know. That's just me, though. Anyway, uh, do you guys want me to play this? One, two, and three, and four. Please let me know. I am dying to see what this franchise is about. I'm ready to be introduced to it. And I can see why they stopped at four because I've heard four is like an amazing game. So I'm excited to see what the last three games before that is. And uh, just get into the world of Uncharted. So other than that, we got Until Dawn. This game is getting a remaster real soon, uh, later this year in fall, and I will be playing it around that time. I have it installed. I'm not sure if I'm getting the free upgrade or whatever when it comes out for the PS5 remaster. Is it getting remastered or is it remade? I think it's getting remastered. There's a there's a whole lot of difference between a remake and a remaster. I'm pretty sure it's getting a remaster, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, here we just got our collection of games that I've downloaded before in the past, and uh, I'm just going to go scroll through all of these 310 games. If you guys see anything, let me know. It catches your interest. Alright, cool. And... Current PlayStation Plus stuff, whatever. Uh, let's go to my settings real quick and show you guys my storage. What I got. Oh, wrong one. There we go. So on my console storage, I only have the Call of Duty games I was talking about. Check this out. If it loads. It takes like five years. Uh-oh. There it is. So yeah, we have... Why in the hell are these here? So we have all these uh, Call of Duty games installed on the main console hard drive. And everything else, like say I buy, I buy a new game or whatever, it's going to be on this one right here. I have the M2 SSD. I got the 4 terabyte version. So that's why I have a bunch of games on here. And uh, you guys are probably wondering, you spent $400 on a fucking SSD? And guess what, folks? You really think I'd be that dumb to buy four terabytes for four hundred dollars? You lost your damn mind. I bought it for half the price, so I know a guy. There's no way I'm spending that much. I'll pay half the price. But I'm not. There is no way I'm spending four hundred dollars on storage. You got me fucked up. And on the USB, obviously we have the PlayStation Four games on there. If it loads. Here it is. Holy crap, Modern Warfare is 303 gigabytes? Holy shit. Anyway, 
Those are all the games that are installed. All right, cool. And go over my trophies. So I recently reached 300, uh, level 300 on trophies, I guess. And uh, yes, there is some easy games that I've had before. And I went back and got the platinum on those. So that's why I have, a, I guess, a lot more than I should. I'm not really sure, but it's all legit anyways, regardless. And uh, there's not many people that have level 300. Because I was trying to look up like videos as like motivation and stuff on YouTube. And like no one has, right? No one has reached level 300 other than me. So there's like impossible to find videos on there. I'm not really sure many people have reached level 300. I noticed people already like elite level, like 999. And like I've done all my research and stuff, but there's like barely anyone at level 300. But anyways, it's not really important. It's just trophies. Who cares, right? Um, I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to see what the future of PlayStation holds. Uh, it does not mean that I'm going to switch over permanently to PlayStation or anything like that. Is that I just wanted to, I just want to build my library of games and, you know, have more fun and, uh, yeah, just see what this, uh, platform has. You guys are know I've been on Xbox for like the majority of my, of my, uh, gaming career i guess right from like 2005 to 2000 <laughs> now 19 years uh, the last playstation console i've re religiously played was the playstation 2 i never had a playstation 3 and uh i do have a playstation 3 now and i do have a playstation 4 but i bought those like literally at at the last legs of the generation that they were on so uh, at least I have those consoles now and I can buy games and obviously uh, just uh, have fun and stuff. So I'm excited to see what PlayStation offers in the coming months or so. And uh, I'll be playing on here for the meantime. And I will return to the Xbox once uh, games come out. Which, uh, where are the games at? Actually, for both of them, not just Microsoft. Yo, Sony, where are the games at too, man? Like, come on, man. We need some more games out here, man. It's a, uh, it's, it's that time of year. Anyway, um, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys take care. I'm gonna be uploading this all in one as one video. I'm not gonna edit this because that'll take way too damn long, and no one got time for that. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your Thursday afternoon. It's 1:30 p.m. on a Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Oh, and also let me know what you guys uh, have. What do you guys like? In the comments below. Your favorite game. What's your PSN level? I'm curious. All that good stuff. I'll try to reply to as many as I can. Later.